On 5th June every year we observe World Environment Day. This year also it came with a theme to beat air pollution. So I thought to make a video around it though it is never too late to speak on environment and to conserve it. So here is a case study and this is first of its kind on the channel because I have never done a case study on this channel. So I hope you like it and if you do please let me know in the comment section below. So without further ado case study 1 Volkswagen emission scandal or diesel gate or monkey gate. Well now if you're wondering why monkey gate you will get to know if you watch this video till the end. So basically Volkswagen emission scandal was busted in 2015 when EPA that is when Environmental Protection Agency of USA sent a notice of violation to Volkswagen that they are violating emission standards in USA. Now further what happened how did it all start it is in the video so let's get into it. So here is the timeline of this scandal if you want to scroll through you may patiently by slowing the video so yes have a look at the timeline. So it started in 2014 when ICCT, that is International Council on Clean Transportation, conducted their test on Volkswagen diesel cars in Europe and found that some of its models emit more nitrogen oxide than they were emitting at the time of lab test. So they were confused, how did this happen? So ICCT decided to conduct the same test on US Volkswagen diesel vehicles. In order to set an example that see US cars are doing so great because at that time Volkswagen cars in America were doing so great since 2009 till 2015 that Americans believed that it is so eco-friendly, economic and fun to ride. And also ICCT wanted to know what is it in the Volkswagen diesel car that they are competing gasoline cars. So when they conducted a lab test for US Volkswagen cars, the results were fine because at that time the car was running on dynamometer, the rolling road not the actual one but when the testing were done on the road that is in real life the emission results were shocking they were 30 to 40 times higher than what they found in the lab test and to recheck and redo this whole thing ICCT gave contract to the West Virginia University student to please see it on three vehicles two from Volkswagen that is Jetta and Passat and one is BMW and in Jetta and Passat they found that the emission were 30 to 40 times higher whereas in BMW it was quite normal seeing all this happening comes into the scene CARB that is California Air Resources Advisory Board which decided to conduct more tests on Volkswagen diesel car and found the same thing in fact one of the person from CARB said that they found 80% higher nitrogen oxide emission than the required standard. CARB negotiated talks with Volkswagen but Volkswagen said that your workers are not that good I think we are doing it fine but then CARB said no we have tested it over again then Volkswagen said maybe your calibration is not that right but again CARB were sure that there is something wrong and ultimately ICCT and CARB reached to a point that Volkswagen is playing with a cheat device. Now what is this cheat device how it works and why the emission testings were different when they were done in lab and on road. But first, what is a cheat device? So basically, cheat device and defeat device helps in showing the reduced level of emissions while undergoing tests. And here by test, I mean the laboratory tests. And how it works? Well, it has a set of program which is especially designed and embedded into the car that when the car is tested in laboratory, they activate some of the equipment in the car and reduce the emission of nitrogen oxide from the NOx trap. Well, in the picture, you may see the NOx trap. Basically, this is the important thing. And in Volkswagen diesel car, they have this NOx trap. So in the laboratory, test everything was fine emission were within the limits and they were passed to get into the markets now but when the tests were conducted by ICCT and CARB on road what's changed well now at this time the cheat device is shut and the equipments that were activated before to control the nitrogen oxide were also shut and hence now the car is emitting more nitrogen oxide now why it has to be done at the first place well let me tell you that these knock strap work properly and nicely when they are continuously pumped with nitrogen oxide and how you're going to get nitrogen oxide continuously is by using the fuel continuously so this is not economically good right and the performance will also be compromised so cheat device has to be shut when it is on the road so basically the purpose to shut the cheat device is to maintain the performance of the vehicle make it economically better maintain the air fuel ratio and other things and now you must be thinking how does the device know whether it is tested inside lab or on road well there are three parameters the speed of the car the pressure around it and the steering wheel and i hope you get the working of cheat device and if not you can see a video on the verge you will get it you will have an idea so now everything was clear ICCT and CARB submitted a report to EPA that is Environmental Protection Agency of USA sent a notice of violation in 2015 to Volkswagen under US Clean Air Act and warned that they will not pass 2016 model of Volkswagen if they do not accept this. 
And yes, Volkswagen accepted this. And after two, three days, now former CEO of Volkswagen, Martin Winterkorn resigned. And that came with many revelations. For example, they have been fitting these cheat devices since 2009 until they were caught in 2015. Until now, they have embedded this device in some 11 million cars around the world. But Volkswagen was always good at giving cover-ups that they were not aware about of this. And everything is done by engineers and they will look into it. So yes, everybody knew. And in fact, even if you want to issue a pen in Volkswagen, you need to have three signatures. You know what I mean? Everything happens and goes from under the nose of CEO. And while CARB was insisting them then, the Volkswagen said that, okay, we will look into the matter and we will uh, see to the cheat devices. So they did not actually correct their cheat devices, but implemented or enhanced it to cheat in a better way, to cheat even better. And this scam was well known among the senior executive of the company. In fact, top engineers knew about it. They were doing this since 2009 in order to remain in power, in order to remain at the top. In fact, they were supported by government. Yes, this was a kind of a revelation that came into front that government is aiding Volkswagen because Volkswagen provide a number of jobs, growth in economy, and if jobless people would come to road, then politicians were in peril. So politicians help Volkswagen and Volkswagen help politicians. And did I not tell you the story of Monkey Gate? Volkswagen was adamant that no, nitrogen oxide from our new diesel cars are not harmful to human. So earlier they were thinking to carry out this experiment on humans, which their board of directors declined and the experiments were conducted on monkeys. And I tell you what they did in the experiment. They took two diesel cars, one is Volkswagen Beetle and the other one was the old model of Ford. So while the testings were done on Volkswagen Beetle diesel car, the fumes that a nitrogen oxide was transmitted into a chamber in which a monkey was captured. And they performed the same experiment with the Ford card. The emissions were transmitted into a chamber where a monkey was logged. Later, these monkeys were tested. Their blood test and other biological tests were conducted in order to prove that nitrogen oxide from their new diesel cars were not affected on non-human primates. But this was quite stupid, right? And in the end, it was done for nothing because the UGT who was conducted this experiment said that they will not publish it. They harmed monkeys going beyond ethics. So now you can imagine the extent to which Volkswagen has done damage. Be it people's health, be it environment, be it against the ethics, just only for money and to remain at the top. And see, in 2017 or 18, their sales were high and they are still largest automotive company. So finally, US find them with $2 billion and now coming to the case in India, Earlier, NGD, that is National Green Tribunal, that is a kind of a code in India which deals with the matter related to environment. So earlier, NGD decided to fine them with 171 crore rupees. They increased the penalty to rupees 500 crore considering the health and the environmental damages done by Volkswagen in India. And in fact, it was found that in 2016, Volkswagen car released approximately 48.6 tons of nitrogen oxide, a smog-forming pollutant, in national capital Delhi. And Delhi is already polluted. Now you see, first of all, we were unaware about of the fact that Volkswagen is doing this. Otherwise, we could have had a better air quality in Delhi. And if I tell you what harmful effects nitrogen oxide have, then firstly, the health issues. It can cause us asthma, respiratory and lung diseases, and in fact, cause premature death. In Germany, it was found that 10,000 people annually died because of nitrogen oxide only. And ultimately, it can give us cancer. Now coming to the environmental hazard it creates, well, when nitrogen oxide combines with H2O, it forms acid rain, which depletes vegetation, monuments, health of people. And when this nitrogen oxide mixes with ground level ozone, it creates a smog. And a smog, we all know what happened to Delhi last year. The invisibility and the irritation in the eyes and other health problems the smog creates. So now can you imagine the hazard they are going to create or they have created to the environment and people's health since 2009. So that was all about today's video. And before going, I would like to tell you that according to the the Greenpeace report in India itself, air pollution kills 1 lakh kids in India under 5 years every year. And that's quite embarrassing. Well, I think it is time that we need to wake up and take steps to save our environment, to save our Mother Earth. If not now, then when? See, I have made my first video on climate change, Fridays for Future. You can watch it here and make sure to subscribe to this channel here. And until next video, stay woke.